Okay, number 110. A is a set of whole number multiples of 9. Okay? Now, we want to know if it's true. Is for a member of A? No. It's not a multiple. 4 is not a multiple of 9. Okay, that's really obvious. And the next one, uh, you know, it was written 7 with a soup thing, uh, and that soup thing is an error in the way I coded something. So, you know, there are some errors that we had a lot of fun with in class today. At least you got to watch me uh, deal with a little frustration. And you should have had some frustration, too, because uh, it really disrupted the class. Uh, and uh, most of that frustration was a result of uh, a Microsoft HTML editing program not interpreting HTML, valid HTML correctly, and you know that wasn't my fault. Although I should have picked up on the fact that it didn't happen. Uh, there were some other computer glitches at the beginning or, or before class uh, that might have been related to the fact that I overlooked the error, but uh, anyhow. Uh, uh, so this one was my fault, but that's the way it should have read. Um, and no, that's not a multiple of nine, and that's obvious. Okay? Now what about this? 2x is in A if x is in A. Is that true or false? Well, we've got a little argument that has to be made here, and there has to be some justification. I don't know what happened to my pretty purple truck. I must have laid it down somewhere. Actually, there it is. I'm just looking for a different color to delineate the question from the answer. Okay. Um, If x is in A, that x is a multiple of 3. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, of 9. If x is a multiple of 9, then 2x is also a multiple of 9. Because, of course, if you multiply something that was obtained by multiplying something else by 9, and if you multiply that thing by 2, you are going to get something that is a multiple of 9. So the answer to that question is yes. Now another one, which may be even a little more mysterious, Is x squared in A if x is in A? Okay. Well, what's it mean for x to be in A? Okay, if x is in A, then x is a multiple of 9. So now, you're asking if the square of a multiple of 9 is in A. You square a multiple of 9, do you get a multiple of 9? And the answer is again, yes. If x is in A, That x is a multiple of 9. If x is a multiple of 9, that x squared is a multiple of 9. Okay? It's 9 times. A multiple, it's a multiple of 9 multiplied by a multiple of 9. Certainly it's a multiple of 9. Now we could go into more detail in how you'd actually prove that and how would you actually write that out and use a little bit of algebra to do it. We're not asking you to do that. Okay? If you know how to do that, go ahead and impress me. Uh, if you can, I'd probably give you some extra credit, but uh, if you could do that, you probably aren't going to need extra credit in this course. Still, Feel free to impress me. There's no time limit on the test. Uh, okay. So that's number 110. And that's, I, I kind of like that problem. I'm glad I, 
I thought of that one. I don't think I saw anything like that in the textbook. I think I really did think of that one. Uh, but maybe I saw it someplace and maybe I'm just remembering something I saw and don't remember because I don't always remember things. Okay, anyhow, interesting problem. And one that does make you think a little bit. You might not have anticipated a problem of this nature and there will be some problems of that type on the test.